Good morning. Thank you guys for tuning in to my YouTube channel again. Um, I got to the office about five hours before I actually needed to be here. <laughs> but that's because I am working on a couple different stories which require interviews uh, from certain people who I know go into their office around like seven... I think it's, I'm just ready for it to be, you know, a day off. I'm ready for a day off. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I will keep you guys posted as soon as I get my story assignment. Right now, I'm just going to be interviewing, well, not interviewing, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. I'm going to be reaching out to a few people, um, for the interviews that I'm going to be trying to book for my stories. All right, you guys, just got my story. And the glasses are on because my eyes were killing me. Uh, yeah, the contacts had to come out. Side note, if you didn't know, I wear glasses. But anyway, um, so I got my story. It's about how scientists believe that there is, in fact, life beyond our planet. And that life is on Mars. And it was apparently a supposed barren planet, but researchers say that through NASA images that they believe they found fungi, algae, and a bunch of other living living organisms on the red planet. Interesting, right? All right, so this story is not so much a package because there's not going to be any real like in-depth interviews, so it's called an as live. It's how you would report like it was live. So it's just gonna be like a straight read. I've already reached out to NASA and I got a statement. And I've also reached out to the researchers, got a statement, I got the study that says all of this. I got the images which the scientists say prove these findings. And yeah, I'm writing my script and then we're gonna go shoot it. And I also spoke to a few other air, uh, I can't talk, but anyways. And I also spoke to a few other experts who don't really believe, you know, the, the research and don't think it's credible findings and offer alternative, alternative answers for why these sort of things look like the algae and the mushroom. So, um, again, reporting both sides but yeah it's gonna be really cool we're gonna just do it in front of the plasma um it's gonna be a straight read and then we're gonna edit it together and it's gonna go to air in about how long it's gonna air in about an hour and a half so so we gotta hurry this up and i'll show you guys behind the scenes black so you don't see the wires even if they pop out. We may have an answer to the age-old question whether or not there's life on Mars. A group of scientists claim they have found proof that there is, in fact, life on the red planet. All right, guys. We just filmed. Now Mike's with me. Magic Mike. All right. So he's editing the piece. And here's my script. Walk us through what you did here. Well, I'm just trying to make it... Um I have NASA graphics and we got one of these factually incorrect. So That's really important, right? That's right. And you have to double check all the graphics, make That's sure right. that they're okay. So I'm using your script. Following that, I think we have everything right where we want it to be. And I just now making sure that everything's in place. Everything is in place. That's right. What are you doing? I am putting um, some fin finishing touches on the piece and going through the 
the uh, the graphics to make sure they're correct because we're fascinated by life on other planets. So what I started doing, I was cutting it really fast, and I decided not to cut it fast because I wanted to really show the distinction between the two planets, and I can't really tell the difference between these two um, pieces here. So I thought, if I can't tell the difference, the viewer shouldn't be able to tell the difference either. So what? So what did you? What was your idea to put for this shot? To, so, so are, you could tell are, the difference. These are one. One's in Earth, and one's from Mars. Mm -hmm. And which one is which? Because these are actually know. a live thing. So when I hit play, it comes in. So you added Mars, that graphic. Right, so it's easier graphic. for the viewer. That's correct. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good and job. Now I'm going through and making sure it's right. I actually found a mistake, so I'm going to go and correct it now. What so mistake? this should come up from comes up from the top, and I want it to come up from the bottom. So I'm going to come back in. I'm going to choose the uh, push wipe, and I'm going to just switch it 180 degrees the other direction, and do the same thing on this one. 180 degrees in this direction, and then I have to re animate or re render the, the graphic because otherwise fast. the computer can crash right. if you don't render it. There it goes. Now it comes up from oh. the bottom of the step and it looks a lot better. And guys, some of you have been asking what editing system we use. We use all of them, yeah, right. <laughs> We did use Final Cut. Now we use or Premiere. Well, but we now we transferred yeah. over to Premiere. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, another one in the books. Magic Mike finished it off, and that's a wrap. And you guys have to let me know if you think there's life beyond our planet. We may have an answer to the age-old question of if there's life on Mars or not. A group of scientists claim they have found proof that there is, in fact, life on the red planet. Lift off of the Atlas V with curiosity. Seeking clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. NASA's rover's curiosity and opportunity may have captured evidence of life beyond our planet. In the report titled Evidence of Life on Mars, a team of scientists say that they have seen what appear to be algae, lichens, and Martian mushrooms in images taken by the rovers. The researchers cite 15 images of fungi growing out of the ground in just three days as evidence that life forms exist on the supposedly barren planet. The study's co-author said there are no geological or other abiogenic forces on Earth which can produce sedimentary structures by the hundreds, which have mushroom shapes, stems, stalks, and shed what looks like spores on the surrounding surface. Six independent scientists and eight senior editors reviewed the study, and while three of them rejected the evidence completely, the remaining 11 recommended publication after some revisions. And while the report cited previous studies that suggest a variety of species, including bacteria, algae, fungi, and lichens, can survive a simulated Mars-like environment. Other academics have said that the specimens are probably hematite, which are a form of iron oxide. Now, the researchers do point out that NASA has not yet confirmed or denied their findings, but a spokesperson for the agency told me that while NASA has yet to find any signs of extraterrestrial life, including what's presented in this report, the agency is committed to exploring the solar system and beyond to help us answer fundamental questions, including whether we are alone in the universe or not. All right, you guys, we put another one to bed. It was a busy day. We got it done. Um, again, like always, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you're seeing. Please let me know any suggestions or questions you have in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to every one of you. Um, but... Thank you again, and until next time.